would like to thank you for this tremendous reception that you have given me and to share some thoughts with you. But first of all, I must clarify some points. You do know, or you probably some of you, or most of you, may have heard of me in terms of being controversial. I said that you have not heard incorrectly. I would go back to my mother's womb and have her wash me down the toilet bowl if I wasn't controversial. How could you, how could you come in this world, in this country, in any place that the European rule, and not be controversial in is in itself controversial. <laughs> because I know you can't do it, so that if you do it, it is controversial. They told me that in a university is a place where you can say anything you want because there is such a thing called academic freedom. If controversy enters the university and it becomes a part of the curriculum, it would be arrested immediately and murdered. If Morehouse, any more so than Cornell, any more so than any other university in the United States or any other part of European values, should have academic freedom, that will be a controversy. What am I controversial about and for? Well, our subject matter for tonight, African origin of the major Western religions, will give you a good example of why I am controversial. I am so controversial that my uni the university, now my, I don't have any university, but the university where I taught last in the United States, because I taught last really in Egypt at al -Azhar. but at Cornell University, the African Studies Center had a 20th anniversary. And at that anniversary, they're going to honor two men. I'm the only man who, man who ever retired from the institution. Many died there, many have left. But the only one that retired, stood long enough to retire. And they were honoring Dr. John Henry Clark and myself at the 20th anniversary and hanging a plaque of both of us in a room, the central room when you came. You know that I was going to be in the, invited. If you heard that they were going to honor me, you know that I'll be invited. <laughs> at least my wife or my children, or at least my girlfriend. <laughs> You're wrong, I'm controversial. They had the honorary events take place, but had Dr. Clark to give my speech. I was not invited. You think that's controversial? They have an annual conference that come here on education, black people education. It just met not long ago. My best friends are leaders in it. You know I was invited. <laughs> no, <laughs> I am the conference boss and I couldn't, have, couldn't be invited. Right here, they had a conference which I called for one time on the Nile Valley. They bring white folks from all over. They even went all the way back to the continent to bring another brother. Had my name printed in the magazines and everything like that. You know it was wrong when you saw Coors Bear and saw my name in the same magazine. You know something was wrong. All that kind of thing. 
And that's why I'm controversial. Now, now, let, now let you give you the biggest part of the controversy. And I could be in no better place for this. My attitude towards religion. Number one, you would find men from this university and other such universities, shadow of European universities, who will come to Egypt after, of course, going home to Israel, such as our mayor in New York, and our congressman that lives in the same building I live when I'm living in the United States, Charlie Rangel, are going home to Israel to make sure that Israel is still there when Saddam Hussein is finished. <laughs> I hope Saddam is waiting. Yes. But the controversy is that I refuse to accept the sick kind of Christianity, the sick kind of Judaism, and the sick kind of Islam that's being preached. I refuse to take the concept of a deity, male or female, as passed down by my African ancestors to return to me as something of value after it has been plagiarized and mesmerized by Arabs or Europeans. Why? Is it because I sat down in someone's library and decided I would read all the books in there and then come up with a hay brain scheme that I won't like what's written here? I have difference of opinion, or but some God or the other came to me by mysterious angels and informed me that the European or the Arab version was correct and because of colonialism or slavery, mine is incorrect. No, I decided to go to the source. When I heard them telling me about moral values, when I saw the destruction of my African women because of these so-called moral values, I decided after they had thought they had brainwashed me, oh, they know they got you when they give you the piece of goat skin or sheep skin or some onion skin or whatever, and they give you a PhD and the PhD is on it or the DDD or the EDD and all the Ds. They know they got you. And they put the clown suit on. And they make you a member of the Abba Dabba Baba Baba Scapa Lapa. No, they know they got you. They know they got you now because they could tell. They could go home, go to sleep, and know what you're gonna say. They safe because you safe. Because you got all your letters. You're not letting even your mama sit at the same table with you when the Baba Laba is going to eat with the Daba Laba this day. Especially when you're doing the shuffle dance. Look like Bob and Bubbles. And Jemima and Thomasina. I know that hurt. But if you must do that, remember, the Greeks weren't around. Not one single Greek was around when you were the Grand Lodge of Luxor. You were not a single Greek was allowed when you were at Saqqara. Not a single Greek was allowed when you were building the pyramids 
the first stone structure, not one, not a Roman. There were no cracker at all around. Hey. Forgive my grammar. I haven't done very well in English. <laughs> Understand that you cannot um, you cannot hear me to sound like a ventriloquist or the ventriloquist dummy. Thus, you're going to hear me speak the language of the people. You who believe in Jesus Christ said that Jesus spoke the language of the people. Like, give me some skin, baby. <laughs> Language of the people. And I am speaking the language of the people. The PhD has nothing to do with my character. If the PhD make you, and the way the British speaks make you somebody, you're in poor shape. <laughs> I, I was somebody when my mother laid down 72 years ago and gave birth because of what my father had done. <laughs> and that is the only qualification. And I will fight back with every bit of strength that I have in my body, my enemy. And I have no friend in the other side. I have only enemies, some enemies I can deal with, some enemies I can't deal with, but never friends. My friends are all of African origin. When I said the African origin of Christianity, the African origin of Islam, the African origin of Judaism, let me enumerate them. First of all, the foundation of any religious concept is based in the spirituality. And let us see the spirituality of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam that does not come from an African base. Number one, the concept of self of a deity. There is no deity taught older than God Ra, symbolized by the sun. Ra was also honored by certain admonitions. There are 42 admonitions in practice in Egypt up to now, 29 of which you will find in the Book of Common Forth by day and by night, otherwise called the Book of the Dead, dedicated to Goddess Ma'at. Ma'at is symbolized an African woman with a feather, an ostrich feather in her head, with a scale of justice, not like the one in Washington, D.C., one up and one down. They're both balanced. That's just this, not just this. <laughs> and out of this came what the Jews stole and plagiarized and called Ten Commandments. For instance, there is, Hail Ma'at, I have not made light thy bushel. Hail Ma'at, let's all start this way, and they're normally called negative confession because they are answering, they're responding to a command, they're responding, you shall not do. They are saying, I have not done. Hail Ma'at, I have not killed man, no woman, and go on and on. You would find the ten that you have been lied to. You have been lied to in the church, in the synagogue, in the mosque, and told that they came from Moses and Mount Sinai. And the liars had to know, number one, 